lady dancing with a, a floating dress, which is in you can download and copy if you want. The effect is got by using the, the flicking again with the pin. So you want a strong, say, a strong blue. This is cobalt. This is a cobalt blue. Like that. And you can paint the shape of the, sort of, this is a flowing dress, so you can paint the shape of the flowing dress. So it's strong like that coming down. And then it sort of flicks up loose up to here. So you've got this strong effect of where her dress is going to be. Your head's going, head's going to be in there. So you've got this outfit and you want it to look as though it's floating out. So a strong blue into there. Drop it in in patches so it's stronger, like that. And then get your water. Get your water spray and spray into it. And then spray out the edges. So what happens is bit by bit, as the water takes effect, it starts to soften so you get blurred edges. So you can create blurred edges to this outfit. So as it as it's drying out, you see the nice colours wandering. Some of it will stay darker, some of it will blur where the water is, and some of it will float right out. So you end up with a nice softness. When that's dry, you can just flick in a few accents of stronger blue. But I've, I've, down, I've put that picture on for you to download so you can have a good copy of that as well. This is just little techniques to show you how to do these things like that. So any colour, if, if you wanted a different coloured dress, so if you wanted something in crimson, you could do the same. So you could put a crimson, crimson wash in there. Like that, flick the shape in, into there like that. You can drop water in if you wanted, you can just drop water in and it'll push it back. But if you want a nice soft effect like that, just spray it. And spray it in the direction you want it to go. And again, just let that just bleed in gently, like that. If you want multicolours, you could drop another colour in, but I think this works better just being allowed to dry like that. So you can see the softening bit by bit at the edges, the marbling as the water takes hold and the gaps that it leaves. You can then come back in, as I said, and paint some accents. Now that you can see how it's dried out, sort of like uh, a, a mottled effect, still wet up there. It takes forever for these to dry, but once you've got that done, you could then add more sharpness and more detail. So you could get a nice clean blue. Get a nice clean blue and you can add some little bits of, of whisks and sharpness you can add a little bit of strength to parts of the dress where you want it to be in so if you wanted to add a little bit of detail put it in stronger like that so you can add shape to it leaving it to blur to the outside edge you see where that's actually ran in that crimson one I did but you can do the same with the crimson you can get the crimson and you can create a shape that you want stronger and flick it. And then if you wanted to put it in and soften parts of it, so if you want to put that in as though it's there and then soften parts of it, just get your, your water spray again. Whoops. Get your water spray again and wet that. So all you would do there, once you've got them in, if you wanted to wet it a little bit, not all over, just a quick flick, you could do it and then you can just keep adding to it. This is something you can just keep doing, flicking it getting it drier and stronger by dropping in and letting it float in so you can get drier and stronger just flicking in little bits of paint and letting them do their own thing so you've got a nice a nice softness as though that's a swirling dress out or if you were doing a, if you're doing a, a, a Spanish dancer you would do the same here you'd have this like out there just spinning around as though there's lightness so you'd have the shape of the dancer coming down there like that fully and her outfit just flying out round behind her. It's all effects and you can do it all with water and colour. So that, that's going to bloom quite nicely there and it's going to follow the trails of the water you've sprayed and you get a nice effect and then you could put a dancer in there afterwards. Right, this is just a little little quick demonstration on, on how to get some softer colours and spray some colours in. So if you're putting flowers down, or when we do the elephant, these little colours like this. So 
you just want so we're going to put some leaves in the bottom growth in the bottom so you want sort of a wet cadmium yellow fairly watery uh, a little bit of French ultramarine in there so you've got a, a sort of a, a darker green and then you can drop other colours in so you can get a little bit of the wet yellow separate so you, and fairly wetter so what you do with this is you can put a wash in like this so supposing you've got flowers coming down here so you've got some stalks coming down here like that a few stalks you can put a wash into the bottom like this just put it in very random very loose in the bottom drop some wetter yellow in so get some wetter yellow drop some of that in like that so you're getting a, a, a lighter color here and there you can actually flick with the brush you can flick some colors in some little bits around the edges you can flick in some little patches of color like this so it gets it it's more broken feel to it so you can flick colors in like that you can also get a, a water spray this is just a cheap one pound you get in garden centers or local hardware stuff it's plastic just a cheap water spray. and you can spray now and you can push the color up by just spraying into it can you see so you're pushing the color up and getting a softer edge in part and the color will gradually drift drift up so you get a nice softness to it you can get make it a bit harder harder shapes here and there if you want some harder leaves you can just get some harder leaves and just suggest little flicks of edges here and there so you can just flick in some edges a little bit more blue into there maybe and just flick in the odd harder edge here and there drop some of them in you can even let it dry and paint some more in um, but this gives you a, a, a more softer feel to it and some of it will float up to the edges up there it breaks up into your stalks as well so they're softer if you want a more stronger one when this is dry you can then flick more in if you want it to be really strong in parts you can come down put a little bit more blue into this and the yellow so it's a bit stronger a little bit more blue into there you can make a stronger patch sort of here so you can make it stronger into here fill it in fill it in and then you can spray that get your spray gun and just spray that and you can see the softness I'll, I'll, this could give you some lovely effects you could actually fill the whole paper if you wanted with colour and then spray in with this water and it will give you some real nice effect now you can get a, a more lemony yellow a lighter yellow with wet and you can just drop that in in patches so you get some color and that will push some of the darker colors to the outside edges and give you some little bits of harder lines here and there so you can flick them in and you can do the same principle get the get your finger and just flick in some color you want plenty of water on that to do that so you want a wet brush and you can flick in color like that now you've got to remember because i've seen some of my art class flick it that way and get an eyeful don't do it the opposite way make sure you are flicking that way not that way because i've seen this happen before do that and you can get some nice effects so you can get some of the darker color flick some of that in you can go balmy with this and do what you want you can get some nice effects but just spraying with that and you see bit by bit how this color is just drifting up into where the spray hit it so it's avoiding parts where the spray didn't hit and floating into other parts like that so you're getting a nice sort of soft effect and you can carry on you can, you can lay if it thinks it's drying wrong just spray it again you know spray it up and you can get a nice softness to that so you can create color so if you wanted to put a real strong a real strong yellow in a part so getting really really strong yellow in a couple of spots to say there you can do that and you can hit it with a spray gun and you can see how you get this sort of broken feel so bit by bit that yellow will drift into the spots of water that's flicked on let them dry and you've got some really nice soft transitions of color so you could put reds pinks any color you fancy in and just spray them and you'll get some nice while these bits are drying because you can see it's really wet but while they're drying you can even flick more colors in so you could paint some drier colors in so 
you can get your yellow and blue again so this is lemon yellow and a cobalt blue and you can actually paint in some little streaks of stronger colour here and there so if you want a few strokes just added in or even a few sort of extras leaves you can drop them in they'll, they'll, they'll blend they'll spread out a bit and blend because the paint's still wet but you can see the effect and you can do the same effect get a bigger brush get a bigger brush and mix yourself plenty of colour fairly wet and you can flick some stronger bits in like this so you can flick some bits in that'll gradually fade out but give you give your effects so just flicking in and like I said before make sure make sure you flick the right way don't flick that way otherwise you get an eye full so you can flick out from there like that and the thing is you can crop it afterwards wherever you want you can put a mountain on round and, and gate wherever you want or you can just drop little bits of stronger leaves in here and suggest things that gradually just blend out and float in so they, they just work the way in like that and allow them just to just to dry as they want like that but you get different effects if you wanted to suggest that there was some blur of colour of or plants in here and there you can just softly flick in a few little bits of reds and because they'll blend in you'll just get that suggestion of a bit, bit of colour this is something you can play with the paper is that well priced you can mess around with it get some effects if you tip it a little bit like that you force the colour to run one way tip it another way see how they, them are, they're just floating together now they're just moving around so they're not staying as a solid piece of paint they're just moving around and blending so you get various colours blending the thing to do is just enjoy it make make what you want on the paper you can always add to it or you can take off I'll show you how to take, take stuff off.